What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally today when it comes to Mac OS 12, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the fourth point update and the first beta for that version, which brings us to Mac OS 12.4 beta one. That's the update that I'm seeing here and I'm able to see this update today because I'm on the developer beta tester. If you are a public beta tester, then expect this update tomorrow or perhaps the day after. And for me on my MacBook Pro that I'm updating, you can see the exact update size that it comes in at. It comes in exactly at 2.12 gigs and I was updating from Mac OS 12.3.1. So not as big of an update, but also something else I wanted to let you know this is not all that Apple released today. If you go to the developer.apple.com website, you'll be able to see other updates that Apple released. So we have Mac OS 12.4, of course, this is the video for that. We have iOS 15.5 beta 1, iPad OS 15.5 beta 1, Watch OS 8.6 beta 1, and we also have tvOS 15.5 beta 1. Now, most of these beta updates, I do updates on them on the channel quite often. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest, then a sub to the channel will make sure you don't miss anything. Now, I've already updated my Mac. So let's go ahead and go into the about this Mac section and see the new software changes that came with this update. So it opened up on my main monitor. And if I go to overview, you'll be able to see the new build number that we have here. And it's not a stable one. As you can see, it's 21F. 5048E. So this has an E at the end and in terms of stability, mm, it's not the greatest. So we want to see the storage as well that's being taken up by this update. So if we go to manage, you notice that we have Mac OS storage or system storage. And here it's taking up 16.37 gigs. And surprisingly, we have system data and it's taken up more than the Mac OS or the system storage. So system data is taken up 17.23 gigs. In terms of what's changed with this update, I want to show you the first thing that comes with this update here. And you need to be aware of this before updating because it might affect your productivity if this is a feature that you use often. So you notice that there's a really known issue that's quite serious here with Mac OS 12.4 and it has to do with universal control. So there's a known issue and universal control in this release isn't compatible with Mac OS 12.3 and iOS 15.4. It's it, it. I think here it should be like iPad OS 15.4 since universal control works with either another Mac or another iPad. So if you update your device to this version that I'm on of Mac OS 12.4 and you actually want to use universal control with an iPad that's on iPad OS 15.4, then that might not work as this isn't supporting all the devices whether they are on Mac OS 12.3 or iPad OS 15.4. So that is something that you might want to watch out and it might stop you from updating now that you know that once you do, you might not be able to use universal control. Now, another thing I wanted to mention that um, possibly are going to affect this update and not going to allow it to come with quite a number of changes has to do with the release date. So you can see that, you know, last week we actually had the release of Mac OS 12.3.1 and this update comes a week after that. So since Mac OS 12.3.1 was more of a bug fix update, then this update is Yes, they did mention in the release notes that it's going to cover quite a number of bugs and issues, but it's going to basically be polishing up what was left behind from 12.3.1. So not m a lot of changes are expected or a lot of fixes. Although, you know, Mac OS 12 is proving to be one of the most buggiest update for me and for quite a number of people. I have to report so, so many issues in the feedback assistant app, this app that you are seeing here. So if you are experiencing issues, definitely do use this. And the more people that report, then the 
better apple is able to resolve this issue now if you do have this developer app on your mac this is a big announcement that apple made today that has to do with wwdc 2022 the worldwide developer conference for this year so you can see that is actually the latest news and if you go to this wwdc section you'll actually be able to see it we have this logo code to code and it's going to take place starting let me look for the date so it's going to be an online event that's going to take place or start on june 6 and so that means that when it comes to the next mac os version or mac os 13 then that is when we are going to be getting the first beta so it's going to start on june the 6th and if you actually want to be able to do beta testing then stick around and definitely subscribe on the channel and then when the first betas that come out to developer beta testers come out i might have a plan for you so that you can jump onto the beta and live your life on a beta like myself so that's something that i thought i should let you know in case you are not aware of that i gotta give a big shout out to steve movza over on twitter because he actually found out that the touch id ring has been darkened for touch id setup so it's it seems like he was using a different mac because on this one when i try to add a new fingerprint it actually doesn't show a darkened touch id ring it shows this animation or ui which is not the one that the newer macs are portraying so if you have a newer mac and you try to set up touch id for the first time or for a new finger or user then you will notice that the dark id the touch id ring has been darkened rather also something that i want to show you here in system preferences shout out to steve moza once again if you go into your keyboard here and then you go to where it says input sources you notice that instead of having a canadian flag we have the you know abbreviation ca similar thing if you wanted to add like a us keyboard let's search for something like you know ukraine you can see that it just says yk it doesn't show the ukraine Ukrainian flags this is an update to what we had before so before it would actually show the flag of the country that you are selecting as an input for your keyboard accessibility so here it has been updated and i don't know if i like this new one i i think i for me i do prefer the old one way it would show the flag so that's something that has been updated with this change or with this mac os 12.4 also something that has been changed with this one has to do with focus so if you use focus quite a lot i'll be happy to let you know that according to steve bonza there have been wording changes in the backgrounds that are going to support newer devices and so this is in the code and you won't be able to see it by just going to your focus section on your mac again something that has been updated here if you go into your uh, display or rather if you go into your accessibility and then you go to your display accessibility you notice that cursor has been updated to pointer shout out to steve moza once again for this so this is an uh, just minor wording change that have updated with this mac os 12.4 so basically as you can see there isn't a lot of major new features or new changes or new emojis that have been updated with this mac macOS 12.4 the previous macOS 12.3 actually had more changes than this and it was quite substantial so this is just an update that's going to you know keep things in check until we reach WWDC 2022 this year on June 6 and after that we'll get macOS 13 the next big version of macOS I'm not sure what the name is going to be but hopefully it's more stable and we, we don't it doesn't have to be as fancy as this or as mac os monterey as long as it's uh, safe and less bugging then i think a lot of people will appreciate that so that's most of the new features and changes that came with mac os 12.4 again as you can see here not at all is mentioned in the release notes so that's something that i thought i should let you know so simple update and that's about it for me guys before we close this video i did have something to show you that i had been working on with my team for quite a long time so this 
he is now the new half man half tech store so if you go to this website halfmanhalftech.com it's a new store and i wanted to mention and show you what we have here so we have a variety of products like a virtual laser keyboard and also we have like cheaper office accessories and other accessories that you can always check out for apple users mac users and so on so if you do like something and you purchase it in a way you'll be supporting us here on the channel at halfman half tech so do check it out here on halfmanhalftech.com i will leave a link in the description of this video where you can always check out and i will also drop a code that will give you discount in the description and on this video now stay safe guys and i uh, will definitely see you in the next video